What's going on, horror fanatics? Welcome to I Shot Him Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host, Marcus. Please be sure to shoot that like button, subscribe to the channel, as well as shoot that notification icon so you get all the latest content updates to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about Halloween Kills and why I believe that Halloween Kills would have been a better sequel to end the Laurie Strode vs. Michael Myers storyline as opposed to Halloween Ends. But before we get into it, let's hit that intro. I shot him six times. Okay, everyone, so if you have watched Halloween Ends by now, or if you haven't watched the movie but have been keeping up with the spoilers and all the information about the movie from fellow content creators such as myself, then you know by now that the storyline between Laurie Strode and Michael Myers was ended in Halloween Ends with Laurie Strode killing Michael Myers in her house in the kitchen by slitting his throat and slitting his wrist, then further with the assistance of Hawkins and Allison put placing Michael's body on top of Allison's car driving him to the junkyard and pushing his body in the scrap metal shredder with the town of Haddonfield looking on. Now, I will say that I did not mind this ending. I thought that we should have gotten the definitive ending to this storyline, especially being that this was supposed to be the end of the storyline. That was the big marketing for this movie. So I did not mind this at all. You know, I, it wasn't that bad of an ending. I thought it was a pretty good definitive ending. However, I will say this. I believe that Halloween Kills would have been the better sequel to end the storyline. And I'm going to give you guys a few reasons why I believe such. The reason why I believe, one of the reasons why I believe Halloween Kills would have served as a better sequel to ending the storyline between Michael Myers and Laurie Strode is number one, Halloween Ends had nothing to do with their story at all. Had nothing to do with Michael Myers versus Laurie Strode, even though the marketing of the film advertised that heavily you watch that movie had nothing to do with michael myers and laurie strode so when we get to the final act scene in the final battle between michael and laurie it, it really leaves a lot to be desired for the simple fact there's there's no build-up in the movie leading into this final showdown you have to basically watch halloween kills to go back and get that build-up to their final showdown which is one of the reasons why i believe it would have been better suited to have this final battle showdown ending between michael and Lori in halloween kills another reason why i believe that kill serves as a better sequel than ends for this storyline to end is for the simple fact is all the nostalgia filled moments from halloween 1978 that we got in halloween kills you had the loomis callback the, the loomis callback flashback scene shout out to tom jones jr as you see in the intro of this video shout out to you tom um you had the Myers house, obviously, the the flashback to 1978 where you see young Lonnie, you know, you have the Myers house in present day, which is obviously where Michael is heading to the movie. He does not go to the hospital to chase after Lori. You know, he's trying to just get home, just keep killing and go home. You, you had everything set up to fit this ending that we got in Halloween ends into Halloween kills. But the biggest thing, the two biggest things for me, I should say, is one, the storytelling, the narration, the buildup, the buildup as to who Michael, My Michael Myers is or what he is. The narration that we got from Hawkins and Lori kind of was reminiscent to the narration we got on Michael Myers' character from Dr. Loomis in 1978. The big reason why I did not care why Michael Myers died in Halloween Ends the way he did is because how they made him look weak. They made him look not like himself. He was not the indestructible force that we have no come to know and love throughout the franchise. He was made very much so to look just as human as you and I. And in my opinion... For the ending of Halloween Ends, you know, with that final showdown, it was it made for less compelling. It, it was less compelling 
because I didn't care. I didn't care that Michael Myers got killed off because of how they made him look weak. However, if they would have did this ending in Halloween Kills, it would have made much more sense. It would have been way better because it would have been way more compelling. You would have cared that Michael Myers died. Why would you care, you may ask? For the simple fact is, is that the entire aura of Michael Myers, the boogeyman, is that you can't kill the boogeyman. So what better way than to build him up as such, as an indestructible monster, as this specimen who cannot be deterred, let alone killed. Then in the end, you finally find a way to kill him. You finally find a way to subdue him and definitively no questions ask kill him by taking his body to the shredder at the junkyard in Haddonfield, further disintegrating the body as Dr. Loomis's callback scene in, nine, in Halloween 2018 over the voice recorder said it would have been way more compelling and you would have cared for the simple fact it's like hold up you guys told us that he cannot be killed wow they really found a way to actually kill him and it's not something cheesy it's not your typical run-of-the-mill you know let's you know try to shoot him up or let's try to burn his house down you know anything like that anything that we have already seen you know that would give us a reason to believe oh no michael's coming back you know at least in this timeline he's coming back in this timeline Halloween Kills would have served as a way better sequel for this ending that we got in Halloween Ends. But the main reason why I believe Halloween Kills serves as a better sequel for this ending to happen as opposed to Halloween Ends is because of the Myers house in general. One of the big things that really fell flat to me about the final battle scene was it was at Lori's house. We already seen that in Halloween 2018. And this battle was way less compelling than the one we got in 2018. That was a battle. This one was more like, uh, oh, let's 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 bump let's rough each other up and then let's just let Lori get the other uh, the upper hand. You know, if you would have had the final battle between Lori Strode and Michael Myers happen at the Myers house, it would have been way more compelling and it would have made much more sense for the simple fact is everyone this is where the story all began at the myers house when lori goes off to drop off the envelope that her father asks her to drop drop off if lori doesn't do that we don't have the lori strode versus michael myers storyline we don't have that at all if lori doesn't get asked to go to michael's house to drop that package off we have no movie we don't have anything. We don't have Jamie Lee Curtis. We don't we don't have nothing that what we have built on over these last 40 plus years. So, with that being said, it would have been way more compelling if you would have had this this battle happen in the Myers residence for the simple fact is again, this is where it all began and it would have made a way more sense and you would have been hooked as the audience you would have been like man i'm really feeling this for the simple fact is, man this is really you talk about nostalgia for all the nostalgia that we got in halloween 19 from 1978 and halloween kills the one thing we did not get was laurie showing up at michael myers house that was the one thing we did not get and in my opinion it was such a missed opportunity especially given the ending that we got for halloween ends so in my opinion guys halloween kills serves as a better sequel to the ending of the laurie strode versus michael myers storyline as opposed to halloween ends but everyone that is just my opinion you may feel differently about it you may feel that Halloween ki Halloween ends did serve as the proper ending to the storyline given that you may like the movie or you just may like the direction they headed in terms of passing the torch on or quote unquote changing shape to Corey Cunningham you know further you know excluding the Michael Myers character and starting fresh with somebody new me personally I think it would have been way more compelling and would have made a tons more sense had you would have had the storyline between michael myers 
and Laurie Strode and in Halloween Kills. It would have made Halloween Kills, in my opinion, even that much better. I really liked Halloween Kills. I know a lot of people didn't. I really liked Halloween Kills, but if you add this ending, if you end the storyline there in Halloween Kills, to me, Halloween Kills may be top three sequel, in my opinion. Given all the nostalgia feels, all the callbacks that we got, and then for that final battle to be in the Michael Myers house, everything would have came full circle. And before I head out with the, for this video, guys, another thing I want to touch on is um the mob. The whole mob in Halloween Kills. One of the big issues a lot of fans had with the ending of Halloween Ends was how did the entire town of Haddonfield get notified that Lori killed Michael and now they're taking him to the junkyard to do the procession and the proceedings to finally disintegrate his body and kill him. A lot of people had a problem with that and even myself did as well because it's like how did they get notified that fast? However, if you would have done that in Halloween Kills, it would have made way more sense. Why? Because the mob is already hunting Michael Myers down. The town is already hunting Michael Myers down. They're already looking for him. They're already looking to execute him. So if you put this ending at the end of Halloween Kills, everything from the mob, from the nostalgia th feels of the movie, from the storyline and the narration to build up to Michael Myers, in my opinion, Everything comes full circle for the Michael Myers versus Laurie Strode storyline if you would have put this ending at the end of Halloween Kills as opposed to Halloween Ends. But okay, everyone, that is it for this video. Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts on this video. Do you agree with me that Halloween Ends, I mean Halloween Kills, serves as a better, better sequel to the ending of Halloween Ends and the storyline of Laurie Strode versus Michael Myers? Or do you believe that Halloween Ends got it right? and that that ending was better suited for Halloween Ends and not Halloween Kills. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you all. Once again, this is I Shot Him Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host, Marcus. Please be sure to shoot that like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm a lot. New viewers, also subscribe to the channel and shoot that notification bell so you get all the latest content updates to the channel. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. Thank you all for watching.